top 10 ways to save money. Number 10, slow cooking. Crock pots are not only convenient, they also help save money. Instead of being short on time in between work and kids' activities and resorting to buying fast food, start dinner in the morning or the previous evening. Just set the crock pot on a timer and you will have a fully cooked dinner by the time you get home. Number nine, turn off lights. Leaving a light on might not seem like a big money waster, but you would be surprised at how quickly your electricity bill goes up the more you leave lights on. Make it a habit to do a quick run through before you leave the house and make sure all lights are off. The attic, basement, and closets are all places where lights often get inadvertently left on. Number eight, consolidate student loans. If you have multiple student loans that trickle in every month that can be combined into one convenient payment, you won't risk missing a payment and it's just easier to keep track of one payment compared to four or five. Look up interest rates and eligible loans on the Federal Student Aid website. Number seven, visual aids. A visual representation of your debt load can be created with anything from construction paper and markers to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Make sure it isn't just stored on the computer. Print it off and display it in a prominent place where you will see it every day. Keep it updated. As progress is made, it will become less daunting and create more of a feeling of excitement. Number six, buy in bulk. Sam's Club and Costco are two of the most popular buy in bulk stores with many locations around the USA. For an annual membership fee, you can shop in bulk and score some really good deals. Before you buy a membership, ask for a pass to browse the aisles and see if they offer items you regularly shop for. Number five, buy generic. Start comparing ingredients in the name brand products you love to the generic versions. You will be surprised at how close, if not exact, they are and how much cheaper they are. Number four, credit cards. Cut up the credit cards and delete them from any online accounts, Amazon, Old Navy, etc. Pay with cash only. If you don't have your credit cards online, you will be less likely to make those late night impulse purchases. Number three, public library. Instead of paying extra for expensive movie channels or video rentals, take a trip to your public library. Many libraries have dozens, if not hundreds of movies to choose from, and the best part is they're free. Number two, shopping list. The majority of people make shopping lists and take them to the store. However, I bet most people don't stick to just buying the things on their shopping list. Stores are smart and strategically place items to capture your attention and get you to make an impulse purchase. Make a list and stick to it. Number one. The number one and almost most obvious way to save money is to budget and goal. The majority of people have a set income. If this is not variable and you need to save more cash, then you'll need to cut your expenses. That's why you'll notice that most of this top 10 list is not really about savings, but more about cutting down on expenses. Simply set a budget for yourself, depicting how much you can spend in a given week, month, or year. Yes, that's the simple part. The hard part is sticking to that budget and putting away the amounts you want based on your goals. Good luck. Time for the question of the day. Have you ever tried any of these top 10 ways to build your savings? If so, what have you tried and were you successful? Do you think this video was helpful? Have you been successful in other ways of saving? Let us know your thoughts and go ahead and leave your comments below. And as usual, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button to see more awesome top 10 clips. We come out with top 10 videos just for you every week. Yes, you. Be sure to give this clip a thumbs up and go ahead and check out one of our other top 10 videos.